Hey everyone, this is Kimberly Munoz, and I'm an instructional technologist in Franklin ISD. If you're a Google Apps for Education school, have you wondered how you can use all of your Google applications in just one place to make your life and your students' life easier? Well, I'm going to solve that problem in three minutes. It's called Google Classroom. Now you'll see on this Google Classroom page that it's not allowing me in because I'm signed into my personal account. However, if I go back to the account that I'm logged into for my school, my Google Apps for Education account, I can click on my 3x3 square, go to More, and Classroom can be found at the bottom. So you cannot log into Google Classroom unless you are logged into a Google Apps for Education Classroom. So here it's still showing me logged in, so let me sign out. and choose my Google Apps for Education account. And now it takes me directly into Classroom. Google Classroom is wonderful because it allows you to be a teacher in classes and also be a student in other classes. So if you play different roles on your campus, you're able to click the plus sign and join another teacher's classroom to keep up with what they're doing or to create a class and be the teacher in that classroom. So it's very simple. When you click create a class, you just type in a name and click create. Once you create that class, it will generate a classroom code for you that's found down here at the bottom. And you can change that code whenever you need to, but that's how your students are going to join your class when they click that plus sign that was up at the top. Once everyone is joined, you can disable that code or you can reset it so that a different code is created so that no one can share the code and other people get into the class that you don't want. All of your students can be found under the student tab and you can change whether they can post or comment, whether they can only comment, or whether only the teacher can post or comment. So you can lock it down as much as you want to. And then once you have a list of students here, you can actually choose actions and you can block certain students from commenting to teach them a lesson or two if they're not behaving correctly. So back to the stream. When you click the plus sign down here at the bottom, you can create a simple announcement to your class that you can add attachments to, or you can create an assignment so that whenever you give out this assignment, all, the t all of your students can turn their work back into you digitally, and then you can grade it. No other students can see the work that they turn in. You can also create a question that other students can reply to that either the whole class can see and you can have a class discussion or only you can see and it's a way that you can also do a participation grade. Google Classroom has lots of possibilities and I hope that you'll give it a try.